Welcome to Otago Saga. Hi, I'm Zero. I'm DK. And I'm Rizzo. And uh, we noticed that we just broke a new milestone. 2,000! Yeah. Wow. I can't wait until I can use more fingers. <laughs> That's what she said. But anyway, so yeah, over the past couple of weeks, we've been really, really racking our brains on what to do for our 2,000 subscriber special. Instead wow. of, you know, catching up. Which we're doing that too, but... Yeah, yeah, pretty much. But first, but first, thank you all for watching. Coming into our channel every day. Literally like, by the thousands. The thousands of you. Damn. Like as of this moment, it's up to 2,500-ish. 20, every, every Every day. 24 hours, yeah. But really, and honestly, just thank you guys so much for watching. When we started, like, yeah, when we started this out six months ago. Yeah, well, well, when we started this out six Already. months ago, we didn't think that we were going to... I, I honestly didn't think that we were going to break 2,000 subscribers in six months. There were some days I didn't think we'd crack 1,000 at first. Then we did, but now 2,000? Even yeah. better. It took us a while to get here. Yeah, and unfortunately both. we suffered that, that little bit of a hiccup when... Uh, when our first channel got the uh, got the copyright strike, which interestingly enough that should expire next month. Next month, yeah, we gotta do something so with we that. A, what do you yeah, think? Yeah, we have a channel that we're not doing anything with. Hmm, everything's reserved. We have some ideas what to do for extra content. Hmm, I wonder what that could mean, people. We're totally starting a gaming channel. <sighs> Damn it! <laughs> Otago Saga Gaming has been a thought process for a while. We just had to find the time to do so. Yeah. What's that? Uh, and one of us already does Twitch streaming. No one watches me, though. Not to point any fingers. So watch him, damn it! No, don't. But... <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing some uh, computer gaming. He does... He games on his Xbox. Destiny. Maybe some ESO. So uh, other things that come out maybe. So yeah, we should have some pretty uh, entertaining content on that channel. And of course, hopefully soon. Of course, doing that, you'll also you'll also see Dayton and a couple of our a couple other of our friends. And you'll get to see me suck at a lot of games. You'll see what I mean. It might not come in July, but it is in the works. Probably sometime after our move, which actually I do want to talk about as well. Ah, yes. um, coming up very soon within uh, probably next month yeah. we will be moving from our tiny shitty little apartment which don't bother asking for tours it's not worth it no <laughs> the shortest <laughs> shortest <laughs> studio tour ever, ever. <laughs> rotate the camera 360 degrees that's it pretty much <laughs> <laughs> there's the room there's the kitchen yeah. But yeah, so we're going to be moving from our tiny, shitty little apartment with our loud neighbors, which, yes, if you listen carefully... Morning, assholes! <laughs> you can hear them sometimes on our videos because they're so loud. But we're moving to probably to a house, so... Hopefully we... We'll be able to be even more rambunctious and loud. Yay! They actually have a really nice set. Well, truth be told, this is actually pretty nice. I have to, I mean, not to be conceited and all, but for what we got... This ain't too shabby. We're literally three guys who pulled this shit out of our ass. Yeah. Ow. Have you seen how big <laughs> this table is? <laughs> Damn it, DK. Ah, oh, you little, literal <laughs> fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Look, he's brown too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately my wood isn't this big though. <sighs> now, yeah, so uh, honestly, honestly guys, the one thing I'm really looking forward to would be Central AC. <laughs> Central AC, so we don't have to blur this thing. Yeah, that, that's, which also and that's honestly over, why actually. a lot of a, a lot of the time our audio sounds a little messed up. It's because we have a little AC sitting over there that we have running during the summer because it's hot as balls here. The insulation absolutely sucks. And and it's like yeah, an oven the, at midday. Yeah. And so uh, we have that running, and we have to cut that sound out of our audio. That's why our voices always sound a little messed up. That's why the audio kind of 
blows sometimes, just in general. Yeah. Because, well, yeah, ACs. Blowing. <laughs> but yeah, so let's go ahead and get to the meat of this special. Which is... <laughs> comment reading. Reading your comments For the with first the Takazaga. Yeah, we realize that we we don't really have uh, you know quite enough subscribers or regular comments to uh, necessarily need one of these because we can't answer we can't answer a lot of comments on our own. Yeah, uh, just like when we're at work. I mean, we work we work hard. But sometimes when somebody comments, we just like in our minds, it comes out so funny. And a lot of the time it is funny. Yeah. We just have to, just have to. And also uh, you guys, um, oh my goodness. You might see, first I off, we'll, our ahead. comment section is very dedicated. Yes. I've said it, uh, I think I believe I, I said it in the thousand subscriber special I really think the comment section is the real star of Otaku Saga sometimes because, oh my goodness, people. The stuff you're able to point out, stuff you like, me that you catch that we don't uh, when we're doing anime reaction. Immediately. And just, that makes sense. Yeah, why didn't I fucking think of that? Oh, right, I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah, and not only that, you guys, you guys certainly let us know when things are wrong and are extremely patient when things are wrong. Oh my goodness. We probably have the most patient subscriber base on YouTube. Oh shit! Oh shit! We're working on it. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> it's only a six month, it's only a six month old channel. Yeah. We are working on it. Yeah. yeah it's a only a six month old channel and our equipment is not always the best too. Yeah, give us a couple of years, we might actually know what we're doing. <laughs> Plus, uh, plus the fact that because of certain events, we have been getting behind, so we're not able to put quite the brain power that we probably should towards some of these anime episodes. So a lot of the times on some of the deeper series, stuff does go over our heads a little bit. Yep. And that's usually just because we're like, oh crap, we gotta watch this, 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 and this. <laughs> uh, we're currently working on- Trippy told on me he's just trying to make up jokes, but. Well, that's him. You're not supposed to admit that, dumbass. I think they would have gotten that anyway. <laughs> no, my whatever comes out of my mouth is what I'm thinking at the time. So no, nope. I'm not. I'm not really trying to make up jokes. It's just whatever comes out of my mouth, and usually it's pretty fucking bad. <laughs> Let's be honest here. <laughs> I I had a joke for that, but I'm gonna let that go. <laughs> that's what she said. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to it. Our first comment that I think that we wanted to read off, we do want to point out that this guy oh. comments on like every video that we have. And we have, we're up to like times, what, usually. 370 some odd videos on this yeah. new channel alone? Yeah, we have, we have, uh, we're approaching 500 videos at the moment. And all time, it's even more. Yeah. So, uh, YouTube user Fantasillion, you have stolen the title of Otaku Saga's number one fan. From my mother. <laughs> uh, goddamn, dude, that's a feat. That's like climbing Mount Everest or some shit. Oh, God. Four, four or five comments a video, just... Yeah, lots. Yeah, on average, dude. And, and a lot of them are just pure gold. He's like an unofficial cast member at this point. It's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> on point. But yeah, yeah this guy's sorry. hilarious. I think DK had a, had a comment that he wanted to read off of here. <laughs> Yeah, uh, let's see here. Actually, there's, a, there's a quite a lot I can choose from. Like I said, this dude like comments on just about every video we've done. I have a, I have a couple that I picked up myself, but that's yeah. for later. Yeah, so do for I. Later. Yeah, so do I. So, yeah, so one in particular uh, from uh, episode of Flying Witch. I'm practicing levitating myself. No. Yes! I did it! I levitated my dick! <laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> Bruh. You knew damn well the one I was going to pick first. Yes, I did. <laughs> that was just... Because one of doubt penis jokes. <laughs> <laughs> See? It is literally... When we, when we first saw this, it actually came up during... Yeah, yeah, I mean, all right, so during uh, episodes, the reason why you see Zero looking on his phone, he's checking for comments, actually. He's not just uh, texting some uh, mysterious lover 
in a faraway land. Though he does that too on weekends. <laughs> but he's but yeah, checking for comments. I, I do get your comments straight from my phone, both me and Rizzo. Uh, get your comments. We'll have to dig out the phone. footage because uh, when we got this comment, I think both me and Riz almost did a spit take. It was, <laughs> it was good. Yeah, it, it was pretty funny. Uh, I think it was like really. You know how you good. really, you know how you really make us happy? Dick jokes. Of course. Not just dick jokes. Good dick jokes. Don't 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 just, don't just spam us with dick jokes. <laughs> now that you've said it, you've sealed your fate full. <laughs> I also like boob jokes. Boob jokes. <laughs> Especially in Paris. Perverted jokes in general, actually. Wait, 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 wait. can we segue into my into one of mine? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Master Combo, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> okay. Speaking of boob jokes. Speaking, speaking of, of pervs. Pervs. Uh, let's see. Armon Araye. 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 Talking about an episode of Boku no Hero Academia. And awesome anime, by the way. Um, talking about, I forgot what his name was, the guy in the purple suit with the funny head, fair, funny hair balls. Yeah, the balls on his head. Right? No, I can see where he's coming from with this one. Yeah. Call him great boy, please. And then, uh, right underneath that. Y, Y2N610 counters with people like grapes. Damn. <laughs> and you know what my, my only thought is? Minetta, I believe, is the character's name. I th think it was somebody. Like yeah, I think. It I'm pretty sure we made. It, I'm pretty sure we made a joke that his name should just be Opie Boy. Opie Boy. And, and that not only has to do with the shape, the unfortunate shape of his hair, it, the texture, and the texture, but also has to do with the fact that he's a fucking pervert. Ask Su John. And 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 twice. 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 Back to back episodes, he managed to grope Suchan. And Even after getting sl tongue slammed on the deck of a boat. And just like Y2N stated, people like them too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bye. <laughs> so, yes, our nickname for him is Opie Boy. Yes. Opie Boy. Opie Boy. Nickname codified. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Overbearing enthusiast. That avatar berserk mode. Yeah, engaged. but it totally it totally works with that name. I really, really hate Himaru, but that totally works with that name. <laughs> way overbearing. <laughs> way enthusiast. Easy TK. Yeah. Easy. TK. Oh, yes, yeah, overbearing enthusiast <laughs> says. Is she human? <laughs> overbearing enthusiast says. In the latest news, contestant Amelia suffers a critical blow when contestant Rem unexpectedly gains shipping points in a landslide. <laughs> While it seemed that the beautiful half elf's position was secured from episode one, fans are beginning to have second thoughts. With at least three other contestants keeping a relatively low profile, what will become of the adorable Silver Enigma and the Blue Moe Cannon? <laughs> will, uh, will Amelia manage to take advantage of her upcoming date? Find out next time on Shipping Wars! Dun dun dun! Shipping Wars is brought to you by... <laughs> ReZero. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that comment came in on uh, actually where we're sitting at the latest episode of ReZero, episode oh, yeah. 11. Well, mm -hmm. Uh, and I had to bring that one up. It was so fucking hilarious. This, this comment had me laughing. Very nice. Oh, nice golf clap. <laughs> <laughs> so next comment uh, on an episode of Sancho Sanyo uh, from YouTube user Asilla Young. I will forever love this show and, the, and these reactions for introducing me to the term cat budget. Trope codified? Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> And like, and yes, uh, I think that is a trope codified. The part of the budget that is, yep, that, that is, is uh, that gets an inornament, inornament amount of the budget. Oh yeah, of a production budget. So in Otaku Saga's case, uh, I replied, I know, right? I wish we had a cat budget. End quote. However, but we do. We do. Figurine budget. These are at least. How, how much uh, money do you think we spent on More figurines? More money has been spent on figurines for this show than was spent on this table, these chairs, yep, the lights, the lights, the camera, camera. technically, yeah, the camera as well, the tripod, mm -hmm. the flat screen TV, the and, wall scrolls, and the wall scrolls. Unfortunately, you can't throw the laptop that we're using in on that. 
because then I think the whole thing together would tip over that. But that's still basically everything else on the set. This is the cat budget. This is our cat budget. <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> Totes worth it. Totes worth it. <laughs> I try not to go the crazy I route. I regret nothing. Until the end of the month comes and we have to pay bills. <laughs> Damn adulting. So, G Co. Any relation to A Co and B Co? Ha! Ha ha! If you get it, you are old. <laughs> Admitting it? <laughs> <laughs> it is a really old anime. But uh, anyway, Kuma Miko, the day where pedo bears come together. <laughs> oh. If you go what? out in the woods today, you better cover your behind. No! If you go out, out in the woods, woods today, today, you might get a surprise. No! Because this teddy bear's deranged and sick. He likes to give little girls the dick. <laughs> That's the way the pedo bears have their picnic. <laughs> Childhood ruined. And but yeah, that, that actually uh, rolls in perfectly into our next comment. Mm. It's from uh, Mario Zogd. Mario Zogd? <laughs> Mario Zogd. Mario Zogd. Zogd. Z O G G T. Zogd. 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 What's called Zogd? Treat the yeah, silent. He's talking about. Um, Another Kuma He's Miko talking episode. about the episode seven, the thumbnail that I made. Oh God! <laughs> which, by the way, I will talk about it after this. But yeah, it's not the thumbnail. Not my proudest fab. <laughs> <laughs> Ding! <laughs> Dude, just like that. Funny story about that thumbnail. Hmm. See, I was working on that particular episode when I was at work. And uh, I I was working with a new coworker that day. Oh God! So while the video was rendering, I was like, "Oh, let me whip up a thumbnail." And I'm kind of clicking random points in the episode to find the find a good picture. And I click at the very beginning of the episode. I'm like, "Oh, it's too good. Oh, it's too good not to do." Print screen. Okay, let me take that. Okay, let's see. And I'm scrolling through the uh, little tools in my picture editing program and i see uh uh oh god what is pixelate yep yeah, the i see the tool pixelate <laughs> one plus one makes thumbnail so there i am pixelating out this bamboo uh tube that she's blowing into and i hit pixelate and it pixelates and i see my co-worker's head go What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh man. Nothing. <laughs> How much flack has he given you for that since? <laughs> uh, none. <laughs> we just don't talk about it. Asshole. We just got a comment in and it's hilarious. Okay. Oh, really? Right off, huh? From Double O Mar D. D. Well, I guess that will teach the viewers a valuable lesson. If you mark a date with a girl in a creepy graveyard at midnight and she appears, there's something extremely wrong with her head. Truth. Unless you're like Ellis here. on episode six. Six of, of Koriwa Zombie Deska. Yeah. And first comment on that video. Oh. Ten internet teeth. So, Battleship Nagato. Because, man, no damn well that's what the BB stands for, even though that's more of a US battleship thing. Yeah. That feeling when you know what Dojin DK shirt is from. Ah, good oh, times. Oh, you should have been wearing that shirt. Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> or two or thirty. Whatever. Oh, why'd you have to take it off in here? Because <laughs> you have to say, fuck off, you teddy monster. <laughs> fuck off, you teddy monster. Hey, there it is. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> oh! No! And through the magic of editing, here it is. <laughs> so, when we were at Phantom Maycon, there was a booth run by that a was run by a certain website <laughs> that may or may not rhyme with Baku. Uh, it was run by Faku. He went to Faku's booth and bought a fucking shirt. I regret nothing. 
Well, at least he's not like one of our friends who bought every single doujinshi that they were selling. No, no, he bought every single doujinshi that everyone was selling. Yeah. That he didn't have already. In multiple copies, I'm sure. He had a tower of doujinshi in his hotel room. Picture. Do we have a picture of that? I actually do have a picture of that. Oh, snap. Fox McCloud! Asuna! Ryoko! Satsuki. Ah, oh, shit, we don't have an Asuna on set right now. Actually, we can fix that. God damn it. Make sure she's not, sure not shaking now in the back. <clears throat> There's our Austin. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we um, actually all of our figurines except for one, I would say we bought for a really reasonable price. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We just bought a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> the, yeah. Um, it's our cat budget. It is our cat budget. As far as I know, uh, actually, Yamato here is the most expensive figurine, unless, uh, how much you pay for Mikasa? Uh, Mikasa, Yuki, and now we're all 37. 37 bucks? Uh, 35, I thought. 37. Uh, yeah, no, uh, Yamato is definitely the most expensive, but if we had her full armament out, you'd, you'd you would see, see why. why. I mean, this is just one of the, uh, well, you can barely see it, if at all, but there's a little clear plastic uh, arm that kind of supports her. There's two pegs and actually four such arms of different thicknesses. It supports her with her full armament. Yeah, we just can't fit it all on set. Well, not without wiping out like two other figurines. She takes up space. She's but, huge. Ed, thank you, Fox, for actually noticing our figurines because it's our cat budget. <laughs> and as far as we know, you're the only one who's commented on them. Actually, no, there's been about had, three. Yeah, three? we've had a few comments. Wow. Someone, wanted to steal my, someone wants to steal my donut, Asuna. No, you can't have it. Oh, hell no. <laughs> That's too cute. That is way too cute. <laughs> Put that shit in the safe, bro. So, next one. Uh, actually, let's go with one that's not necessarily funny, but one that I definitely wanted to talk about. Okay. So, actually, we've had quite a few people ask, but this was the first uh, first comment that I found on it, that when I was just scrolling through the comments. Uh, Jay Kiritov. Kritov? Kritov. Yeah, mm -hmm. Jay Kritov said, when you guys will react to SYD? Um, sometime react good, maybe, yeah. Don't be a dick. That's <laughs> <laughs> impossible for him. Now, like, seriously, um, Setakai Yakuin Domo is a really, really fantastic comedy anime. Hilarious. And I really, yes. really want to react to it. In Especially fact, since depending on how many slots we have, I might just uh, make sure that we do it next season. What I haven't end? watched it, so. He yeah. hasn't watched it, both DK and I have. And we both love it. It is yeah. absolutely amazing. And uh, we haven't watched it in uh, a couple, couple of years, years, actually. So. But, yeah, well, we watched it back when we were actually just doing a small, crappy blog. Don't look at me, please. Um, <laughs> look at it. AnimeReview.blogspot.com uh, Was that it? No, no, I think that was on the, the old Takasaga.webs.com Oh, shit. Even going further back. for a while. Kevin Lin, thanks for the comments on uh, Gog Satoshi Asterix episode 17. Okay, what we got? Man, Kieran and Saya put up one hell of a fight and then those robots go fusion summon or synchro summon. <laughs> Enjoyable episode though. Ah, man. All sorts of Yu-Gi-Oh up in that shit. I think I should roll another one. Oh, oh there was one in front of me. If it were a snake, six. <clears throat> <laughs> yes! Oh, shit. Oh, uh, once again, we return to our number one groupie, Fantasillion. DK, you should totally cosplay the Magic Clad Girl. 
<laughs> Patreon donations, and I'll do it. I'll do it with a light-up LED chainsaw that spells out DK and a cigar in my mouth, like old man Logan. Blech. And you know what? I'll rock that shit, because I'm sexy as fuck. Ah, I had curry bread for breakfast, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that would be an instant what I call a breakfast checker. So let's see. Oh, Lucky Charms. Very nice. It's all right, because... Um... There's a lot that we'll do if you donate to Patreon. Because we're all little whores. Because <laughs> we like money. And we're, and we're little whores. <laughs> oh, we'd love to actually do this for a living. Oh, yeah. We, we, yeah, we'd love to be able to do YouTube for a living. With the hell out of these security guards, yeah, we, right? Yeah, if we can do 28 series in a season, imagine what we could do if we actually had all of our time to put towards it. Man be like a real channel yeah i know we could actually put some real effort into editing we could put out maybe dare i say it original content <laughs> hopefully next season I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right. but yes we do have a patreon account so uh i will actually be adding that as a goal um we will i will do the magic of clad girl cosplay after a certain point to be determined but you will see it Patreon.com slash Otaku Saga. So, I uh, Dachi Toru? Yep. Uh -huh. Here's a question for you. If vegetables in this world are sentient, as seen in this episode, what are the vegetarians supposed to <laughs> <laughs> At least the cabbage seller will be happy that the cabbages are finally fighting back. My cabbages! What are vegetarians supposed to do? Suffer for your terrible life choices. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But yeah, that was on, um, oh, one of the earlier episodes. Konosuba, Konosuba. Three or four? Yeah. Yeah, the one where they have to fight cabbages. The, uh, very, the very cute, but sentient and aggressive cabbages. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was, oh, Konosuba was an anime that always delivered. Oh my god. Can't wait for a second season. Albert Kanabi, another one of our uh, regular commenters. One of our frequent flyers. Yes. Has been around since Channel One. Yes. Uh, yeah, basically, so on one of our uh, episodes of Bake Monogatari, he says, don't tell me you guys will react to the whole Monogatari series, because if you combine all of them, it will total at least 90 episodes, and that's a lot, and it will affect the next spot of anime voting. So, uh, as far as that goes, we actually had, uh, let's see, Bog D1, Show Iwakura, who's another regular commenter, Smile Please, another guy from the original channel, uh, John Max, uh, all of them were talking about how they'd actually like to see us do the whole series. If we did end up doing the whole series, I don't think that we'd make it affect the uh, the ne any of the future anime voting. If we did the whole thing episode a week, we'd we be done in about two years. Yeah. That's a lot of commitment. Yeah. And we do want to get to this series, so I think it'd probably be best for us to, as soon as we're done with Bakuma Atari, take a season break, mm. get some fresh other fresh things coming out. Or catch up on some stuff we've got to uh, do on the new channel as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> um, uh, read it, bitch. Shit. How uh, do you pronounce that? Um, okay, so, uh, this goes between Hindi and is that Hindi or Thai? I don't know which. And Swedish? <laughs> Great! Thanks, Fantasillion. You throw two of the world's most confusing languages at me. Anyway, yeah, so this is back to our regular commenter, Fantasillion. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and read it. You asshole. <laughs> it's funny how you guys cringe when you see him in a girl's outfit and him wearing panties. What episode is this from, by the way? Um... Like where was zombie disc cough from the? Say, I think it was the second episode. It was either the second or the first episode. It was like no, it must have been the first episode because it's right when Ayamu uh, first uh, transformed into a magic clad girl. 
<sighs> but anyway, uh, yeah, it's funny how you guys cringe when you see him in a girl's outfit and him wearing panties. I literally feel nothing from it, for the reason being I have seen so many worse visual novels, mostly situations where it was way worse. <laughs> On the computer! Adrian Arena! Arena! Hurt the heart for heart! I am the character! Oh my god! Did the Swedish chef go to India and learn how to cook curry? What the hell happened? Hold on, digger, digger, digger. And of course, when I found this, I replied, Pantasilion, did you break? <laughs> he probably went without missing a beat. Yes. yes. <laughs> no other way, me. all of that came in within like less than a minute from each other. Oh, yeah. Just, <laughs> did you break? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Pantasilion, he's a computer. You, if you would. Please explain to me what happened. What the fuck, man? Because <laughs> this is a book, right? It's a book worth of comments. It's. Uh, and I have no idea what this. <laughs> is. Mysterious languages. If is it's a bug, this is the. This is the fucking nom Necronomicon, bro. <laughs> and I would actually like to understand what 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 you're saying here. But yeah, I definitely. It looks like it's some Hindi characters. Um. Some anglicized uh, Hindi, and then yeah, a lot of uh, Latin characters. Looks like a Scandinavian language of some sort. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, oh god, that literally had me rolling for hours when I first saw it. So this one was actually quite a recent one. Mm -hmm. This one uh, was on what was it, episode seven, I believe, of Flying Witch mm -hmm. uh, from KW. Good thing you didn't name yourself KY. <laughs> uh, talking about the, smooth, the owner. Yeah, yeah, talking about the owner of the cafe that looks like a ruined building until you do the, uh, the shrine. Uh, what's the term? Kashiwade. Yeah. Mm. Uh, the cafe owner is trying to evade taxes for sure. So, the ghost, then. Um, since she's been dead for a while, uh, is she technically an undocumented worker? <laughs> Indeed. Actually, think about it. If, because we found out in the episode afterwards that cafe is 200 years old. Oh, so how much, how much back work, taxes do they owe? Was she working there before she died, too? Oh my god, I think you're right. And if she's bound to the place, she might have died at work. Oh my god, she's in purgatory! I thought she was a security ah! guard. Hell. That would be hell. Eat key. Eat key. Moi. Oh. Moi. Eat key. I apologize for mispronouncing your name. Hopefully, I get it right. What if it's reversed? So, oi, um, ick, tea. No, no that doesn't it's make just sense. stupid. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching Japanese animation. Thank you, you for watching us. Thank you for watching us, and thank your country for making it. <laughs> well, okay. Assuming you're from Japan. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Where are you from, by the way, if you're watching us? Actually, uh, that kind of, kind of brings up an interesting point. A uh, good load of our viewers are from Japan. Yeah, which at actually, first surprised the hell out of me. It was up to like half our viewership. Uh, now it's actually mellowed down. We're watched in over 170 countries. Let that sink in. Good lord. I know, right? <laughs> you know, it's rather, rather hysterical. Back mm. in like high school, we were like, yeah, we got, we want to rule the fucking world. We're working on it, but we're getting there. <laughs> it, we we said that as a as a pick me up from day to day. Like, yeah, let's go out and rule the world. Let's why the hell not? Get trucking on. Yeah. Never thought that we'd be actually close to doing so. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, at least we're, we're worldwide. Yeah, at least we're worldwide. I never thought we'd come close. Allow me to quote one of my favorite Bond villains ever. By midnight tonight, I will have influenced more people in the history of this planet save God himself. And the best he ever managed was the Sermon on the Mount. Nice. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm the only one with arms long enough. Go, go, get your arms. Da, 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 Inspector Gadget. Da, 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 da. <laughs> if you were at Fan Con, you'd know exactly what we're talking about. So, speaking of Fan Con, Yumi, what's that upcoming surprise? Ah! Am I sharing your Fan Con adventure after your event? Ah! What's that face supposed to be? Anyways, like, ah! I'm constipated, but I'm so happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> so Nailed, Nailed it. it. Nailed it. Uh, yeah. So, so what was that upcoming surprise? Two things. What was <laughs> supposed to come down the line for that surprise? The first one actually made it up, and that was our One Punch Man finale with with date. Yes. The second one was a video. Me and Riz. Well, actually, we all shot. Well, no, 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 no. You weren't there. Yeah. Uh, the second one. We, we shot up. a video. Um, it was DK. Dayton and I, and we uh, we shot a session of us playing Cards Against Humanity with some of our friends who live up in Sacramento. They came down for Phantom Acon, and we played in their hotel room. And you'll see there was some, like uh, five or six of them. Yeah, it was a good group of them. And you'll see some collaborations uh, with them in the future as they will have their own gaming channel uh, yeah. quite shortly. We'll so, so, so yeah, we'll, we'll be doing some gaming collaborations with them in the future. But unfortunately, uh, I think the mic that we were using ran out of batteries or something of that nature. Another uh, in a long line of technical difficulties struck. And unfortunately, all that video has, has no sound. audio. Yeah. <laughs> It has, it has no audio. Oh. Which is a shame, because that was a pretty decent game. Yeah. Uh, the, the year before was epic. But that, uh, that was in the gamer room, and that was before we did any of this. But one of the that was the other surprise. Um, unfortunately, like I said, technical difficulties force us to kind of spoil it. We will get a nice game of Cards Against Humanity on this channel, though. Or the and channel. If, you're a, if you're any sort of fan of ours, you know that we have a very bad, bad, dirty mind. Yeah. If you want to know which cards are mine, look for the darkest answer. It came from me. First, no, the first, uh, I do remember the first one because I actually won the first card of that game. Um, let's just say there were uh, really, really, yeah, it was a 9 11 joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> of course it was you. <laughs> he already knows and he wasn't, yeah, there, there you go. If, if, if you want really crass and crude humor, we, we gotta do this one of these days. Yeah. One of these days. One of these days. Um, but that was only one portion of our Phantom Acon. Um, like, we won't spoil you guys. Yeah. Um, well, we partially did. But. We. It's kind of hard for us to uh, to do a kind of full Phantom Acon uh, thing because we are so behind. If we can somehow find the time to do it, I would like to do a full podcast um, about Phantom Acon. Mm. So, actually, I actually haven't done no Akusaga <clears throat> talks in a while. Yeah, but uh, in terms of Fixed some of the that. stuff that we we got, of course, we got his shirt. We got my thing. shirt. Oh yeah, oh I angry two shirts. Got more figurines. I got a, I got a shirt too, but uh, I can't wear it. It's a little tight. Uh, we got that poster. The Ryuko, yep. Yeah, the, and, the uh, shirt says 2X, but it's fucking not. It's large. Look, we got uh, Kates of Sinon, Mikasa, Yuki, no. Now. Uh, actually. Oh, no. Nope. We only got these three from oh, Phantom Acon. Okay. Uh, and we also got uh, uh, schoolgirl uniform Shino. No, I got that earlier. Uh, and. Uh, Tadakoro. Ta yeah, Megumi Tadakoro from Shogageki no Soma. Yeah, and Shinon and Melinda? No, no, no. I got, I got, I got, Miranda? I got, I got Melinda earlier. Melinda. Those two <laughs> were uh, a trip to uh, oh, San Japan. Francisco. Japan. Yeah, yeah. We went to Japan down in San Francisco with Dayton. You know what? There's an idea. We ought to tape one of those trips up there. Ooh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Cheerio. So next we had a, another comment from Fantasillion again. But it was on uh, 
It was on one of the episodes of uh, So Say No, I'm Miyoji. Mm. I'd buy the mascot. Then burn it live on camera while singing joy to the world. The mascot is dead. I like how you think. Don't mm. buy. Don't S- buy it. Steal it. <laughs> Don't listen to us. We're bad. Burn down the store that sells the merchandise. <laughs> Don't do that. We're horrible. We know. Yes, we are. So, next one, Decay Grim. Hey guys, I fucking love Overlord, and I was wondering where I can go to support the anime. And as far as that goes, the anime is licensed by Funimation. So, uh, one thing that I do to help support anime that Funimation does is I actually uh, have a subscription to Funimation's website. And uh, that's really wonderful because they have pretty much their entire library on there, so you can you can stream it. Uh, this is not actually a uh, this is not a paid message, by the way. Uh, that's just saying this is the best way to go support the Overlord anime. Yeah. You can also actually buy Overlord on DVD in particular. Another thing you can do is that the novels for Overlord are being released by Yen Press in North America. Uh, so you could also buy the Overlord novels. From, and, we'll, from and we'll be sure. Yeah, and we'll be sure to put the links in the description actually as well. Hopefully, Three sounds. Uh, another thing that you can do: figurines. Yeah, uh, in any merchandise. As long as it's as long as it is um, a legit copyright piece from Funimation or uh, yeah, I think Katakawa. Yeah, um, official license merchandise. Yeah, officially, officially licensed merchandise from that from the anime will always, always go to supporting. You, you know what we say in every episode: we support the official release. That's why we put it there. Yep. But yeah, uh, any any one of those options can can uh, can go to help support the official release. So merchandise. Um, you could support the the um, Is it any streaming service it may be on. Yeah, yeah, basically any uh, legal streaming service that it may be on. Um, the the North American license holder, um, the license holder for the novels, or if you can, you could go uh, if you could get your hands on it. If you buy the the actual Japanese version of those. It still supports the. It still supports. Yeah, the original like you mentioned, Zero, yeah, it actually supports it even better because that's the figure. That's, those are the figures that studio executives want to look for when determining, you know, which anime gets hey, the axe. If or you're not. getting the Japanese light novel, you could, you know, potentially start to actually learn, you know, learn kanji and learn how to translate. Now, all of this, all of this does come at a price, and there is a perfect perfect meme that went around the internet one day, you know, a few years back. Anime. Drugs would be cheaper. And it's they're not... that we don't have a real life, huh? Yeah, it's that. they're not joking. They're not joking. Like we said, the figurines... That's our cat budget. Yep. Compared to our big screen TV. So this one uh, from user Damachism. I wish I could see what they're reacting to. The majority of this is just watching three dudes having a random, awkward conversation. Uh, kind of so, uh, hard to... Like, I don't um, know. Mm. Uh, no, you first. Uh, uh, go ahead. Uh, but, uh, That's actually, what we do. Yeah. No, I yeah. mean, we've, we've gotten a lot better. Actually, if you go back and you look at oh, some of the earlier content for even the largest YouTubers... Most of like the really early stuff is really awkward hmm. because you've got you have to learn how to speak when you're on a camera. Yeah, um, yeah, you have to learn how to just have that natural flow of conversation. Almost even ignore the camera, like forget that the camera's there. It actually takes quite a bit of practice. Uh, I do believe that that what he's actually referring to is uh it was right after we started doing the discussions on our main channel oh, okay. and then putting a link to the reaction and he didn't see the link to the reaction gotcha 
much. Uh, I, I remember it because I was sitting there thinking. No, we didn't. You know, at the beginning of every single one of our discussions, we say, if you want to check out the reaction to this episode, ding, ding, hit the ding. link in the description below. We put that at the beginning of every one of our episodes. I'm sure it's probably annoying to everybody who always watches. But we do that just so that people actually see, oh, hey, they have a, they have the full... Uh, they have the full thing in the in the description. Hell, we have a uh, we have a, a video that we just released, the the Final Fantasy one, where we actually put it in the title just to make sure people know. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. part of one of the things I'm a little worried about with our format is that some people might like be scrolling, like they might search up a reaction and be scrolling through and they might see that, oh, their video is only eight minutes long. And yeah. not the full episode. Not the full episode. No, no, yeah, yeah. we we always so, do a full episode. I'm probably gonna start format. like right at the beginning of the season, just put all of the, uh, all the video titles full, uh, full reaction and description. That way people actually know, even without clicking on our video. And even if they don't listen to our little uh, discussion gate videos, as I call them, for lack of a better term. It's also interesting, this this is just coming off of our timer format, which literally was the three of us <laughs> sitting there having an awkward conversation just to fill up time. Yeah. Because actually. we did not want to be quiet. No, we didn't. We were like, uh, there, there's this timer thing, and we, we, <laughs> we don't want to... We don't want to be like... So, yeah, know, sometimes right? with reactions, you almost try to force yourself to react. That's Especially what a lot of guys little, do, right? actually. But, yeah, we, we don't like doing that. Well, man, because you, you can tell because we, we have a lot of episodes where we're just huh. watching this. Well, we also like, take it on yeah. anime. Well, we also take it on uh, anime that requires you uh, to think a little bit more. Or that wouldn't really make for great reactions until, like, say, a really nasty plot twist. Or something. Sometimes, but I just think it's really, really amusing. I just think it's really amusing because this came. You know, you just had the timer. Yeah. Yeah. The, I mean, this came like right after just the timer. Like, like it was like a week after we stopped doing the timer. So it, it's just it just really amuse, amuses us. <laughs> yeah. Go back a week, it gets even worse. Oh, right. At least now we, you know, putting the anime back back into the show that we do, right. it has taken off a fair bit of weight off of us. Now, if only the climate on YouTube would allow us to put audio back in, you know, like U.S. law says we can. Love you guys. <laughs> but yeah, YouTube doesn't give a fuck about that. So this next one from uh, somebody that we've actually mentioned before, uh, Y2N610. He showed up really damn early. Like I can't. I think it was he showed up so early that the re the full reaction video hadn't finished processing yet. Damn, By dude. Way, Ten minutes to you have been the first comment, right? <laughs> but yeah, so he says. Last time I was this early, I had to pay child support. Hope you're filming, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> and that was right when we began uh, oh, saying wow. comments out loud while we were filming. Oh, wow. Uh, well, saying comments, more like saying, oh, this guy commented. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh my god. Last time I was this early, you guys. I had to pay child support. Ouch. <laughs> Technically, you'd be kind of, you. you'd be a little late. Wouldn't it? That's kind of over the end. No, I think he was talking about premature ejaculation. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Next comment. So, we got one from Fanti. What we call Fantasillion when we're alone. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh. Fanti asked on our reaction to One Punch Man, episode 11 and 12. Uh, is... Is this hope for Rockadai? Oh, he, he did that that emoji. Um, I also I also mentioned sound off the comments if you want. You know, who who actually wants this? We also got a uh, like on that comment, and uh, Hagen Peterson. Is that right? Yep, another regular commenter. And uh, Tyrant. 
Tyranex. Tyranex. Beware, I live. I am the Tyranex. But yeah, basically both of them uh, agreed that they wanted it. Um, yeah, one of the things that... Um, There's also another comment that uh, I chose that goes along with this one. So it's not it's not just Fanti. We also have... Well, that's the one. That's oh, that's actually from the Tyranex as well. Uh, does this mean we'll be seeing other old live reactions coming back? Because I want to see you finish Rocket Aikishi no AU-10. Rocket Aikishi no Calvary. Tyranix, I applaud you for remembering our original channel. Yes. Uh, we, so, yeah, and then uh, replying to that was uh, Varkles. Varkles. A capitalization. Varkles. Uh... Yes, please. Everything, or they left off at episode two and everything kicks off at episode four. We have <sighs> finished the series. Yes, we have watched the series. In fact, we filmed all the episodes that we did, that, that we did watch. Half um, of them. Fortunately, none of them are usable anymore. Yeah, half of them were on the couch. And the only people who will recognize the couch is the people who were... In the original, on the original, channel. original channel. From the beginning. Oh, God. Those days. Now, the couch. Um, at the beginning of the winter season, we moved from the couch to the table. Moving up in the world. Hey. sitting in another room at the time. Yeah. And the funny thing about that was we still had crappy, crappy mics. So the audio was junk. We had... Um, we had a omnidirectional mic instead of uh, what we have now, which are uh, it's cardioid, card yeah, cardioid cardioid patterns, uh, which means that it picked up everything. Including we the also anime. didn't have these headphones, which Wisdom. means that the sound was still coming through the TV, which means that we had a lot of audio bleed over. Which, yeah, didn't help the quality. Which is and the number one thing that's going to get us copyright claims. That too. And we had a fair bit of those. Yeah. Actually, that's kind of what killed the channel in the first place. Yep. It was because we had copyright uh, copyright strike from uh, TBS for Dagashi Kashi. Yep. And most of that, I think, is because we had left audio in, too. Yep. So, we learned our lesson. We're coming back. We really, really want to do some of those old reactions. Especially since... Um, oh, yeah, man. They're, the, they're actually, I think, the ones from the fall season. So, um, Rocket Act Kichi no Calvary, I really want to get back to Heavy Object. Oh my love goodness, love so oh, that great series. There's a Utawari Ramono. Yeah, uh, Utawari. Utawari, Utawari no Common. Yeah, Utawari, Utawari Ramono, Utawari no Common. I got that, but you didn't. <laughs> Damn. That one's so Don't get the media. So hard. Yeah, scoop. Uh, and we also have the first season for Gakus and Toshi Asterisk. Yes. We also got a, a, and the funny thing is, like, we have all this filmed, but it is completely useless. Yeah, we also yeah, did. We can't use any of that. What's the year? We also did uh, Mobile Suit Gundam, Iron Blood Orphans. Yeah, that one got hit quick. It was like, like the first episode. Yep. Yeah. This episode we got, uh, got struck down. Which is why we are extremely hesitant to do any sort of Gundam. Because we did a lot to that video to try to make it viable and they kept striking it anyway yeah um but we do want to get back to it oh um, and ass class the first season ass class well no the yeah, second season, second season too. we started yeah, we, started we, we haven't season, watched but... anything in the second half of the second season <clears throat> which is very unfortunate when we have time well when we have time well, basically, when we no longer have to work. Not necessarily. When we catch up, we'll have extra time uh, during the day. It kills me to say that. There's only so many hours in a day, though. Especially since I really want to have that Gax and Toshi asterisk versus Rocket IQC argument. Better plot. I'm gonna go over here. And this blows up. <laughs> I was I'm not. I'm not arguing that the plot is better in Rakadakishi. I just thought that 
there were some plot devices that I really didn't like in both the series, actually. But that's a discussion for another time. Otaku Saga, Civil War. <laughs> this one from Ma Alexei Isabel Likot. Likot? Well, yes, this is the Daruma doll. As for the wish, well, you'll just have to wait and see. Obviously, it hasn't come true yet. Yes. Yep. Well, yeah, we'll probably make. Well, it'll be on an announcement video when we do the wish come true. You know what? Actually, I think I'll just let. Uh, I don't think. I don't think we should announce it. I'll just let them notice it and be like, just let them stew on it. Just fill in the eye and just wait for someone to actually say, "Hey, wait a minute," because I will get. I will give you guys this hint. It's not anything truly specific that I'm wishing for. When I get a certain feeling, I guess when things fall in line a certain way, I look back and everything, I'll fill the other eye in then. But naturally, since it is on the channel, it does have to do with the channel. Of course. So, uh, next comment. Let's see, from Marwan Salim. Marwan Salim. Uh, what your best anime this spring? Hmm. Make a different one. Pick a different one. Go to the next one. Damn it! <laughs> uh, this is really difficult for me to pick. Oh, man. Because I like ReZero. I really like ReZero. I really, really like ReZero. However, I also really like um, Kuromakuro. Mm. That one's definitely up there for me. So underrated. It is so criminally fucking underrated. All, we're all aboard the hype train. We're driving that bitch. Um, but on the other hand, there's like, like say Flying Witch is really good at what it does. Like, it is so spectacular. Oh my god. I am actually extremely surprised that Flying Witch, Tanaka-kun, Sancho Sanyo, and Anne Happy are actually keeping my attention. Yeah, because usually those series don't really keep his attention. Yeah. He needs more uh, attacky, attacky hit things. Um, but yeah, the, like those series are all really, really good at what they do. I just don't know if I can really give them best just because of the type of series that they are, because they are basically series about nothing. You know? Um, there's also like Boku no Hero Academia. Mm -hmm. So, so what about a top three so far? How about that? I said we'd make a video on that. <laughs> Next! So, Derek Brony? Bronya? Bronya. Bronya. Vietnamese. I'm sorry for saying Brony. <laughs> That's what I read. I read it as that. It has an so A at the sorry. end. It has an A at the end. <laughs> sorry. Bronya. Thanks! Seems seems like you love this. You. Seems. Thanks! Seems like you very love this anime. Oh, we very do. Oh, oh Kuma Miko. Yeah, yeah, it's one of my favorite comedies of the season. Yeah, again. I, hard to pick. So just many, one. yeah, from the last comment. So hard to pick what is best. Because it is. a lot of the stuff is really good in its own right. Yeah, I mean, we'd have to break it down by genre normally. But one of these days, we're going to have to bite the bullet and actually decide a best of, period. Not looking forward to that. Mm. At the same time, I kind of am. <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> How to break a taco saga? Which rolls right into our next comment from Nicholas King. You fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate weeaboos. We're working mm, on it. Yeah. We're working on it. No, sir. Just for you, we're working no, on it. You yeah. shut your mouth. I would be happy. <laughs> I would be happy to be an ultimate weeaboo. 
if you know if uh, if this was my job. Well, here, well, here's the thing though. Weeaboo. You hear the term pretty yeah, much thrown the, around. The term is really overused. It's thrown it's around like, so much it loses its sting. Really, the the connotation there is that it's a derogatory term that is way, way, way overused to the point where it's used for something that it doesn't actually represent. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the original word wasn't even weeaboo. Wapanese. Yeah, meaning, you know, a very overly enthusiastic, um, typically um, Anglo-Saxon, but usually Western uh, fan of Japanese pop culture. Well, of Japanese culture in general. Basically, uh, the white guy from New York wearing the kimono and geta. You know, it's just as weird as a Japanese guy, you know, coming to Texas wearing a Stetson and blue jeans. It doesn't look right. Yeah. We don't, we, we try not to do that too much, actually. We enjoy anime. We enjoy video games. We do not worship our katanas. We do not run around like Naruto's. Not well, even during. Unless we're trying to make a joke. Unless we're trying to make a joke. We'll joke about it till Kingdom Come, but. Well, yeah, not even during high school, actually. I don't think we were that nope. bad. Uh, war, uh, like we, knew, we knew worse. We knew yeah, worse. Actually, I know worse. I no, know way worse. Still, actually, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, no. Uh, we are nowhere near ultimate weeaboos. Yeah, we don't punctuate every sentence with broken Japanese. Desu. Desu. Baka. Maybe we should, though. So, uh, just to let you know how... how, uh, how <laughs> How much I am not. I actually have to think about how I'm going to word this sentence just to make it sound really bad. <laughs> Watash Tachi wa don't punctuate every sentence with broken Nihongo Desu. <laughs> that was just <laughs> awful. <laughs> uh, I thought I was going to make it bad. Nowhere near Kawaii. <laughs> that is not kawaii. Look at this. I am not kawaii as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. Yeah. We've only this it's is, amusing is. that we've only had three commenters call us weeboos. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, that is we, amazing. We, we really you. Actually we really don't get that many hate comments, which I think is surprising. Overwhelmingly awesome, I gotta say. Um but what the, we do the is worst usually was just... yeah, the worst was 4chan called us weeboos. Yeah, I posted that up on uh, Twitter. We're we're 4chan famous. <laughs> but you know, that, that's that's 4chan. You gotta expect hate from them. Well yeah. That's all they, that's the internet. That's hate all that machine. 4chan is. is it's hate. the internet hate machine. Yeah. So from an episode of Kuramakuro, chap that text. Maybe his hobby is probably to get kidnapped a lot. I wonder if she has monthly meetings with Princess Peach. <laughs> oh, Princess Peach. It's, it's a very yeah. It's a very common ho- hobby among uh Really dim-witted female protagonists. Now yeah, let's see. We had uh, one from an episode of Mayoiga from Y2N610. Mayoiga. Lovepwn.exe. Not found. So who won in a death battle? Lovepwn.exe, HAL 9000, or GLaDOS? EXECUTION! Lovepwn. Exterminate. Oh, shit. Throw the Daleks in there. See, the reason why the other two wouldn't win is because they are trying to operate in the best, uh, you know, for the, for the betterment of, you know, like humanity or, you know, the people that they're, that they're working for. Right. So they have to get rid of Love Pwn. Eh, maybe, but we're talking about lovephone.exe, which would be a program in this case. So they're trying to operate in the best uh, for for the betterment of like humanity or whatever. Mm-hmm. She's just straight up there to kill. Hmm. She's lo- just straight up there to execute. A literal killer app. Judging by how she infiltrated that group before going crazy, I she I would classify her as a Trojan horse. Mm. What everybody sits in it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! No, just the drunken priest. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! oh. Crackle and pop. I almost feel guilty for that one. Almost. There you go. 
I said almost. So back to our favorite comment, your favorite. Back well, to our one of our one of our favorite favorites. Hard to, Don't hard let to it get to your head, Fantasillion. It's not like we watch your channel or anything. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> Cinder intensifies. Anyway, it was on the mo most recent. For uh, us. No, uh, that's because no, I no. seven, right? Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's not the most recent. Yeah. Okay. But it was on Kiss Nighter 7. What? Zero actually remembered a name. Get the media because I have a scoop. Damn. What? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> you mean you don't remember? I don't remember them anymore. You <laughs> already? <laughs> Irony! <laughs> From Y2 in 610 again. <laughs> make anime great again! Otaku Saga 2016. We need to make hats now. Yeah, we need to make those bumper stickers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that yeah, there it is. Hat 3.0. By the way, if we if we ever get big enough where we like run panels and maybe have a booth at a convention, I would totally make that bumper sticker. And hat. Make anime great again. Make anime great again. Oh, yeah. there we go. Otaku Saga 2016. Put three new idiots in the White House. Hey, between the three of us, we're old enough. <laughs> I don't think they. Uh, I don't think they count it like that. Society balls. Society balls. Really? That's what you came up with? <laughs> and better than these nuts. Got him! <laughs> Close enough. I want to see Obama pooping. We're not that kind of channel. Well, listen here. Uh, this is not that kind of channel. Uh, I don't... I don't uh, drop feces on camera on demand. You'll never see feces on this channel. No, the only shit you'll see is just what we come up with. <laughs> <laughs> bye, 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 bye.